This is a video tip on troubleshooting and inspecting your auxiliary water pump on your car's climate control system. Now, these are only on Mercedes that have automatic climate control. This showed up in the late 1970s, and a similar type pump was used all the way up to the mid 1990s. So this is something you want to know about, and this is something you should test, because unless you test it directly, you're never going to know for sure whether or not it's working. It also could be leaking coolant. Let me show you this close up and, and show you where the problem areas are. This is what the electric auxiliary water pump looks like. It's going to be mounted in different locations on different chassis. It's generally on the right side of the engine close to the inner fender panel. This one is off a of 1979 uh, W123 300D and it's connected to the old, original automatic climate control system on those early models. You'll recognize it by this uh, a small electric motor. Here's your little pump housing. You're going to have an inlet and an outlet, and they'll all have this two-pronged plug that you can unplug, which provides power to the electric motor. The first thing you want to look is right here, right at, right at the section between the, the pump motor and the pump, is you can see these little square holes and look for signs of coolant leakage. Here you can see this one's been leaking coolant. You can see the corrosion dripping down the side of the mounting bracket there. So, uh, you know, these can leak coolant very minimally for a while and then all of a sudden it'll start leaking quite badly. So keep a close eye on that. To test this pump, all you're going to need is a 12 volt battery, or in this case I'm using a booster pack. You want to unplug it and you can apply power, it doesn't matter which positive goes to which one, it'll just run the motor backwards. But you want to apply power, 12 volt power to these two prongs, negative and positive, and look, I'm not getting anything. This motor is frozen. Now the motor may run and you'll get a lot of bearing noise, and in that case you probably want to replace it too, but if the motor's not running, I highly recommend that you replace it. You can say, well, why should I replace it? Well, this helps to move hot coolant through your climate control system while the engine's idling. So if you're having sporadic uh, hot and cold water while you're sitting at a stoplight, good indication this motor's bad. By the way, some of you might be curious about this early climate control system that showed up on the, you know, 1977 to up to 1981 on some models. Uh, this is a very complicated and troublesome unit. I have some videos on my website that explain this and how to troubleshoot it. I also have other resources that can help you with your climate control system. Follow the links below. And for more video tips like this one, be sure and visit mercedesource.com.